instructions on having the perfect panic attack. Find a trigger. A job interview, the claustrophobia of mass transit, deciding what to have for dinner. It will help if you have a chronic condition, severe depression, an anxiety disorder, asthma. This is ideal, but may not be possible for everyone. Your body will instinctively revert to its most primal state, fearing for your life. Your sympathetic nervous system will activate its fight or flight response in the face of this perceived danger, this decision between Chipotle and Chinese food. <laughs> the body can only panic for a maximum of about 20 minutes. Follow these instructions closely to make the most of this time. Your breathing is the only part of this process you can control. Do not, this would drastically shorten the attack. Focus on the constricting of your rib cage, on your drum major heart conducting this frantic march. Mistake this for a heart attack or a stroke. If successful, you may lose control of your extremities. The caveman in your limbs will tense every muscle to flee his predator. Your arms and legs will go numb. Starting at your hands and feet, every twitch and tingle, an attempt to run for your life. Stay in place. Do not go for a walk. Do not call your friends, your mother, your psychiatrist, an ambulance. By now, you should be in a full panic. Hyperventilation cutting off oxygen to your brain. You will feel faint, become certain of your own death. Do not call your friends. Do not call your mother. Do not call your psychiatrist. A panic attack is a remarkably solitary experience. The presence of another person could have a calming effect and cut the attack short. Resist the temptation to fumble a hand through the desk drawer for the medication you've been prescribed for this. Instead, locate the toolkit your grandfather gave you three years ago when he told you, I'm giving you this so you can fix anything. Place it on the desk. Open it. Steady your right hand long enough to grasp the box cutter. Note how close the blood vessels lie beneath the sheets of your skin. Place the blade of the box cutter to the snare drum in your wrist. At this point, your panic attack may begin to ebb. The body can only panic for a maximum of about 20 minutes. As your breathing and heart rate steady, find a bottle of water to hydrate yourself. Drop the box cutter into the garbage can. Return the toolkit to the desk drawer. Distract yourself with a walk or a TV show. Your body will assume it has survived for another day until the next trigger, at which point you will repeat the process. But do remember, you are not having a heart attack. You are not dying. The body can only panic for a maximum of about 20 minutes. And in that time, every piece of you, every basic primal piece of you is screaming for you to survive.